Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another new laser. Friends, it's time for assembly, so let's get cracking. All right, so let's start quickly with what's in the box. All right, so first we have the Z1 laser engraver manual. We've got the rails. We've got the center axis, power brick, the laser module, the controller, glasses, and then also supports some samples and all the hardware. Friends, time to dive into that manual. Alrighty friends, so obviously this is top. You can see down here, this is where we're gonna attach the legs, so those are the top. This is gonna be on our left side, and this one is gonna be on the right side. All right, so note that you do have this sensor underneath. I'm gonna put these on blocks of wood for assembly just so it makes that a little bit slicker. This package has the 25 millimeter screws we're using for this. Let's set the belts out here separate cable guide separate. Let's see if we can get access to our tools. And bam, there's the Allen wrench we need. These go into the back one. Notice I can start with a thumb tightening. Then we can switch to the included Allen wrench to tighten that little critter just up. I'm not going to fully tighten it till I have all four attached. Of course, it is the same step on the other side. Notice, do make sure you have zero at the front. And of course, exact same step in the rear. And of course, last but not least, Alright friends, it is time to attach X. I'm going to remove this just so it's not bumping into anything as I slide it on. We'll just set this off to the side for later. Don't forget we're being careful of the end stop down here and we're just sliding it on just like that. I'm going to slide it up to the middle. Get my pieces of wood out of the way so it's still balanced. Make sure my cable and controller is out on the right side of it. And we are done with that step. Alright friends, so I've got it upside down. And this attaches right here. Alrighty friends, so I have got it flipped over. We're using my little balances standing up. And it is time to attach the controller right here with two M5 8 screws. Alright friends, so our wrench does not quite fit. All you have to do is turn it this way. It takes a little longer, or maybe you've got another set of long ones that you can use to tighten them in. But that's how easy it is to get it attached in place. And two. Now you do have to wrestle with that cable a little bit, but as you can see, it is possible. Friends, next up are the feet. They do go in certain locations, like this one's only gonna fit here, and this one uses a T-nut. Remember when you do a T-nut, you push it through, you grab the other half of the T-nut, and you turn it on a little bit, and then when you tighten that in place, it'll rotate 90 degrees to lock it. So there's the one that fits exactly. And then over here, I'm gonna lock in the T-nut, Remember when you do these, they finish with a rotation of 90 degrees, so they lock in place nice and sturdy. So then just find the one for the next corner. Make sure you have it lined up and follow those exact same steps. When you look at the T-nut, look for this little lip underneath. That's the side that goes down. Get it started just a little bit and then slide it down the groove and then finish putting the other one in just like we did a moment ago. And then repeat the same process in the back. And one last time. This little guy is listed as step eight, but while we got it upside down, 
let's drop this little guy right in here so that that's already attached. It has a sticky mount. And I'm going to put it in with this edge facing in all the way there and we can click it in place. Locked in place on the right front foot. Notice it's left right now because it's upside down. All right, friends, it is time to attach the belts on both sides. Notice you need the teeth down, and we go over, and we go under in both directions. So there's that one snake into the back. And then the same thing here, over with the teeth down, so they're going to attach to that gear. Snake it right down that groove. Make sure you don't have them twisted. I've got a little screwdriver so I can pop it up and get a good grip on it. And that is pretty darn spiffy. Do that same thing on both sides. Alright, so that one is slid through. Once again, make sure you got the teeth down and now it's time to attach them. We attach them just like this. Find these little squares, slide them up here in front. Got a little screwdriver that I can pull this up. There's a marking where it has been tightened before, obviously, when it was tested. I'm just going to use that as well. And then we can use our wrench to lock it in place at each end. All right, so I'm going to lock this one in back first. And then I'm going to get my tension set in the front afterwards. So just start locking that one in place. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tension. And boom. And boom, tighten her down. Just a quick heads up, if you thread these just a little bit, hold the band, you can slide them in pretty easy, get a little bit of a head start, get your tension, get that belt tension set, and lock it in place. There you go. And now friends, we can lift this up and put in these little profile covers so they're not running into any of those sharp edges. Of course, do that on all four corners. All right, everybody, this is where you need to remove this. Of course, we already did because it made life easier. You need the laser module. I'm going to peel off the tested sticker. All right, friends, so let me show you what you got for alignment. We're going to do two down here, and we're going to do one up at the top. Easy peasy. All right, so here's a little bit of trickeration. If I hold this in one hand, I was able to balance and get that started, so it was sitting in the groove pretty darn nifty. So I'll show you back here. Instead of trying to jiggle and adjust, I can let them hang because they're not attached yet. And then boom, that lets you get them started. Well, I'm having to drop them like I was just a moment ago. So I'm just getting them started. So that little bit of height lets me pop that down in there. So now it's standing up and pretty darn easy to tighten in. How slick is that? Let's tighten it up so that we've got it all locked in place. Do make sure that you've got it straight. I am making sure that I've got it straight so that way the laser's aligned as we use it. All right, friends, we are close to done. So I'm gonna peel off the protective surface. Let's put this back in front. I'm gonna slide this in and let's start tightening it. Now I'm gonna use these top ones because I'm gonna slide down low when I do my first cuts. So one of my favorite things about this system is we've got a lot of room to adjust this to get more or less height for whatever project we're working on. Of course, I start these on both sides and then I tighten them down once I've got it in place. Friends, it is time to connect the power module and the PWN. Make sure you find where they're labeled. And friends, if we check the labels, you can see right there we're connecting the power and the PWM. All right, friends, don't forget we've got the end stop for X. It is labeled so you can find it easily, and it attaches right there, just like that. And then we also have to attach both of the Y axis motors. There's one, push that in nice and snug. And as we spin to the other side, this one is on top, and there's number two. All right, friends, as you can see, we have connected it to Lightburn. She is homing just like we're supposed to, and that's how you assemble the Z1. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it, assembling the Comgro Z1 almost instantly. Oh my gosh, 
So many cool features to make that go fast. Of course, this video may even help your assembly go faster. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that there will be a first cut coming soon. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.